Greetings, Special Centurions, and welcome, fellow YouTubers, back to Oblivion. We are currently in the Imperial City Market City Dist Market blah, 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 blah. Imperial City Market District. Uh, I just ran around collecting ingredients, making alchemy potions, and selling them. But the mission I want to do whilst we're in town is the do, 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 the tears. Uh, Tears of the Saviour mission because he wants me to go to the Arcane University and talk to someone there. So whilst we are still in daytime, let's go there first uh, and get on to the next part of this mission, this quest. You. What can I help you? You can help me with getting You aren't the first person to go looking for those. Quite a remarkable story, really. I know a bit about it. Do you? Please, I wish to hear it. Certainly. Garretton was a knight who lorded over a small village of peaceful farms. Oh, lorded over, did he? What he was a lord. Saw, there was a horrible drought. <gasps> no, the not a drought. The appealed to Garretton to discover a solution. He spent a week consulting with sages until one of them mentioned a possibility. The sage told him of an artifact called the Everflow Ewer. The vessel, which looked like a silver pitcher, was said to supply endless water. That sounds quite valuable. Amazing. Yes, indeed. Legend has it that Garadan found the Ewer and that it was guarded by a fearsome creature. It is also said that the creature froze him. When Garadan realized his quest was a failure and he wouldn't be able to return and save the farmers, he began to shed some tears. As the ice enveloped him, some of his tears were frozen as well. Some even say that the divine Mara took pity on the poor knight. To commemorate his kind heart, she imbued the tears with some sort of magical power. Interesting. That's only rumor, though. Is it? You know quite a lot you know, about it. If you're really interested in more, there's a book I read once called Nightfall. It may have more about Garadan. Where can I find the book? I think I saw a copy last time I was at the first oh, edition bookshop in the market. In the district, market of district. course, we have to go back there. Okay. The Mages Guild runs more or less like. I wish I could. T okay. So now we go back to the market district where everything's going to be closed by the time we get there, which is unfortunate. But the second quest I want to do is the unfriendly competition and follow Thorinir. No, it's just open. Nice. Still open, are you? Good. I'm Fintius, owner and proprietor of the... F Let's do business. Let's, yes. Document of Puerile Banter. Huh. Okay. History of lockpicking will probably improve my lockpicking, but we want nightfall. I appreciate. Good day. Yep. See ya. Nightfall. Nightfall tells the tale of Garadan and the quest for the Everflow Ewer at the place, at a place known as Frostfire Glade. It is supposedly located in the mountains near Bruma. Using some of the references from the story, I was able to pinpoint it on my map. The book also mentions needing spe special refined frost salts to get into the glade. I should speak to Julianne Fannis about this. So I've got to go back and talk to her again, do I? Yep. Okay, let's go back there. Malona Their associate. Anything else? Yes. I have them for sale. If you'd like to buy some, feel free. Okay, I how much are they going to send me back? Everything you need to make your own. Only 74, that's not bad. I'll take them. Now I need to make my way to Frostfire Glade. Brilliant. Okay, so we've got everything we need. Where's Frostfire Glade? It's up near the mountains near Bruma. Okay. Okay, cool. So we might do that in a minute. But like I said, no, whilst we're in the Imperial City... I want to get on with um, 
unfriendly competition. Back to the market district. We should be getting there just as he's leaving. Yeah, perfect. Look at that timing, chat. Look at that timing. Take off my armor so that I'm more sneak snonky. And let's sneak snonk behind him. It'll get my sneak up as well as fulfill the mission. Unless this guy comes along and sees me. What are you doing? I'm sneak snonking. Get out of my way. Stop looking at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Oh, there's too many people around. They can all see me. Actually, what am I doing? I shouldn't be getting restoration up anymore. What's our restoration skill? Yeah, we'll leave restoration at 47. We need to start getting up our illusion skill mainly because um, we need paralyze and invisibility. So one can be the spell that we're, yeah. No, one needs to be our healing. Heal major wounds. So three can be the spell that we're training. Yeah, that's right. Let's start getting our illusion up. God illusion goes up quickly. See, this is what I meant by we were soft locked. See how quickly illusion goes up. So in the other game, illusion started going up this quickly, but that was raising our level without actually giving us any significant power boost because our um, attack, our blade and block and heavy armor skills were just not high enough to be able to fight the more powerful monsters. What happened was, once I started leveling some of the magic skills, like illusion and conjuration and mysticism and alteration, that didn't actually directly impact combat, we became... our level. Oh, he's turned around. Our level became significantly high enough that we were fighting really, really powerful enemies, but our combat skills weren't high enough to fight those enemies. And that just meant we were just being completely and utterly wrecked. Hence why we had to restart a couple of episodes ago and pick a different class. Sneak snonking behind the statue. Waiting for Thorinir to go and do something. Come on, Thorne, go do your thing. Go talk to who you're supposed to talk to. Really? Oh, he's moving. He's going again.
Yeah, Thorne has no idea we're following him, even though we lit up like a fucking Christmas tree. Jumping around and looking like a twat, he'll never suspect us. Yeah, Thorne has no idea. <laughs> now this guard has no idea that I'm here. <laughs> Actually, I don't want my sneak going up because if our sneak goes up too much, we'll level up, and I don't want that yet. I don't know which is which. Still, it's a good shot. Okay, so this is, I think this is the bit where he goes to talk to that person. So let's uh, sneak snonk. Can you cancel spells? How do you cancel spells? You can't, you have to wait for them to run out. Okay, let's wait for this to run out and then we'll sneak snog round and try and overhear his conversation. Yeah, there they are. Don't mind me. Don't mind the fact that I'm lit up like a Christmas tree either. Don't let that put you off, right. Can I really not get close enough to them? Yeah, I can't get close enough. My sneak isn't good enough. Yeah, my sneak's not high enough. Oh well. Fuck it. So that was a waste of time. Sorry, guys. Uh, we'll come back and do that later when our sneak is much higher. Uh, what to do now? What time is it? Late at night. We can't do anything night-based. We could try the go fish. No, it'll be too dark. Um, oh, we haven't done this alien ruin yet, have we? I did it in the first uh, the first run before I went to skin grad. So let's go there and do that. Before we get too insanely powerful. Ooh, mud crab. Oh my god, one of these is going to hit eventually. Are you fucking kidding me? Would you fucking die, mud crab? There we go, finally.
die. Right, good. Let's go clear this alien ruin whilst it's still in our parameters of doing so. Quick save. Tally ho! There has to be a, a fish in there that's after me or something because every time it comes up. Wilverin. Pathetic. Where'd she go? Oh, she's over there by the bush. Sidestep, shimmy, 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 sidestep. Oh. Come and get me, woman. Come get me, biznatch. We're gonna fucking harvest your off. Yeah, we're gonna harvest block off you. Healed, and now we're in trouble. Close one, chat. Very close one. Okay, uh, let's repair everything. Save it. And heal up ourself using heal minor wounds. Who's talking? There are only supposed to be two bandits here. Why are there? Who's why is this? Who's talking to someone else? There must be more than two bandits. Yeah, there's a, there's another bandit there. Oh, I think it's because he's detecting me, not because he's talking to anyone. Yeah, he's talking. He's detecting me. This guy is gonna be too powerful to take out. With his massive axe, he's gonna fuck us up. Yeah, he does a lot of damage. Oh, he healed. He healed. I can heal too, buddy. We have to run. He's too powerful. We need to heal up. Get the. Uh, the well to give us extra magic. There we go, now we can heal up. And cast fireball out of fireball! Fireball! 
Fireball. 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 Die, car. Yeah. Shit, got stuck in the killer there. Missed the attack. You fall down and uh -huh. Missed the power attack. It just went flying into him. Right, okay. Now we say heal up. Quick save it. Come down over here. To where there's a mud crab up there. Kill the mud crab. We'll try and kill a mud crab. No, it's coming down towards me. Too fast, chat. It's coming right at us. Lovely jubbly. In there. The hell was that? Massive motorbike by the sounds of things. Loads of food. Right, let's read this, hand-to-hand -hand skill, weak potion of healing, garlic. And let's sleep for an hour to get a level up. Everything you do is just a bit easier, more instinctive, more satisfying. It's as though you had something to develop keen senses and instincts. Endurance, we only got a three, four, that's annoying. We got five on intelligence and willpower, so I'll take five on both of them, definitely. Fucking hell, this guy hits like a truck. He's gonna jump onto my pillar chat. Ow. do about it huh what are you gonna do about it yeah you run off like a chicken that's what i thought I'm just thinking, chat, seeing as you've already seen me do this run, this instance, this ruin, what I might do is do come back, I'll kill this guy, and then I'll come back and do this ruin off stream. Explore the rest of the ruin and finish it off off stream. So you don't have to see me standing on top of a pillar for another three hours. As entertaining as I'm sure you'd find that.
So yeah, let's go do something else. Now that it's dawn, we can go do the fishing one. Potentially do the fishing one. Uh, let's have a look at this. We'll tear up everything. Uh, and then let's do, let's have a go at, yeah, the fish. Whoa, I do have it selected. Tears of the Savior, no. No, I've got go fish selected. Okay. So we want to go and we need to find fishies. And we need to come across here and find um, scale fish that are on the surface. And then we can shoot at them and blast them with fire. That kind of thing. To look for fish near the edge of the lake. Plus, Nern Root as well would be good. No fucking slaughter fish, really. Where are they all? Some burn root, that's nice. Get rid of that mud crab. Some more clams here. Any slaughter fish? No, more clams. No slaughter fish, really. Oh, that's the that's a different sewer. Oh, I'm miles away, that's why. There must be another entrance into the sewers over there. I didn't know that. Right, let's fast travel to Fort Nickel. So then we'll be on the right side of the lake. Die, dear! Yeah, you better run. Oh, an imp. Magic. A lightning imp as well. Use dragon skin. Keep him attacking you physically because if he attacks you physically, it's fine. When he lightning blasts me, that's the problem. No, you got me. Motherfucker. Okay, so we're not going to fast travel to Fort Nickel because there's a fucking imp there. We'll fast travel to the Walnut Inn. And we shall come down to the lake. We shall look for Nernrood and we shall look for fish. See any. any fishies? No fishies. Come on, there's got to be some fishies around here somewhere. Is that one over there? No, that was a rock. Lucky because we got really close to it lands down here.
Where the fuck are all the fish? <laughs> Supposed to be loads of those horrible razor... Razor fish. There's one. It's actually quite close. It's on the surface. And it's quite close to the... Um, quite close to this. So we should be able to sit here and fireball it. Oh my god, it's got a fucking ridiculous amount of health. It's got an insane amount of health, chat. Alright, this is something I'm going to do in between streams as well, I think. Because there's not going to be any challenge to it. I'm just going to be sat here launching fireballs at this thing from land. So fuck this. Fucking hell. Everything has so much fucking health. It's crazy. Okay. Um, let's do... Let's go up to Bruma. Like I said, we need lockpicks. And we can start doing quests in Bruma. Okay, so the first thing we need to do here in Bruma is... Oh no, wrong one here, minor wind. May the wind be on is find the Mages Guild and... Get the recommendation for Mages Guild and see if there's anything we can... See if they've got any summoning spells we can Why, utilize. Hello, there. hello You must be new. Oh, it's so nice to see new faces in the guild. Oh, thanks. If you ever need anything, just let me know. I have friends in all sorts of high places, you know, so I can get things done that others can't. Is that right? And if I can do anything for you, I'd be happy to. Someday, maybe you could return the favor. Well, I do like returning favors, so... A recommendation from me? Well, of course. Raminus would naturally want my opinion, wouldn't he? I'm sure. This is a situation we can both benefit from, Associate. You do me a small favor, and I'll happily send along a glowing recommendation. Okay, what's the favor, lady? If you can find Jaskar, I'll write the recommendation immediately. Find Jaskar, eh? He's disappeared. Has he now? I mean, he's really disappeared. No one here has seen him in days. Volinaro thinks maybe a spell backfired. Is that right? If someone from the council were to stop by and find him gone, it'd look bad for me. I can't have that. Yeah, we can't have you looking Talk bad. Did I just stop looking at the tits and suddenly start look upright? If you can make Jaskar reappear, you'll have your recommendation. Okay, I can do that. Once I can... The Mages Guild... Please come find me as soon as you've located Jaskar. Volinaro, at your service. Need a spell? Need an item recharged? Need a witty practical joke played on someone? I can handle it all. I bet you can. Hmm. Oh, Jean has you looking for him, does she? I'm afraid you're not going to find him easily. I think uh, uh, a spell backfired. That's probably it. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe you, mate. Only what spells quality do you goods have for sale, sale here. What can I interest you in? Okay. Summon skeleton. Requires conjuration skill of 25. We're going to buy that because we're going to have... Because we're going to need it, I think. Well, we're going to need it and it's quite a basic conjuration spell that we can learn. That will... Oh, enthralling presence. That will be good as well. Cool. Nice. Useful. Up. Okay, let's charm Sir. you then. Oh, it's Max. Let's bribe you well, then. Isn't that sweet of you? Yes, I'm sure it is. You prick. Now tell me you where want to find is. Jaskar? Yeah, I do. All right, I think I can help with that. But you have to agree to do something for me first. Mm -hmm. And whatever you do, you can't tell Jean about it. Can't All tell right? Jean about it. Okay, what is it? That's the spirit. You help me pull off a little prank, and I'll help you find Jaskar. <laughs> really? You're going to love this. I'll teach you a spell to unlock things. What you need to do is get into Jean's desk and bring me her manual of spellcraft. Okay? Okay, sounds good. 
Her room is upstairs. Make sure no one sees you. You do that for me, and I'll make sure you can find Jaskar. Easy peasy. Let me know. I like the fact that her bedroom door opens with a major's key. That's so funny. Jean's book, I see. All right, then. I'll just take that. Okay. What was the other? I don't have a conjuration skill of 25. That means I need to conjure dagger on me a whole bunch. Okay, so I can only do that once every now and then. So what does conjuration... 15, you'd get it up by 10. Oh, you can keep sheathing it, that's good. Okay, so you can keep conjuring it. Right, what time do you want me to meet him? In about three hours time. In the meantime, I will... Counts well as stealing. Met. Stuff in here is stealing, isn't it? Yeah. So you want to steal all this stuff and then sell it? Yeah, this stuff will count as stealing. Yeah, so when these guys leave, we want to steal all this and then we can sell it. And that will be the Thieves Guild sorted. Run around talking to people, seeing if there's any other rumors or missions we can do. Inn's usually a good place for finding missions. Go ahead, please. Whoa, what the hell's going on with your eyes? You look creepy as fuck. Good afternoon. What can I do for you to? Any rumors? Sirach is a good healer. He's a red guard, but you'd think he was a Nord the way he acts. Is that right? Good journey. What can I do for you? Any rumors? I was at Olav's earlier. I ran into this Dunder named Raynald Drelis. After a round or two, he told me he was an honest-to-goodness vampire hunter. Is that right? Yes. The vampire hunter. As far as I know, he just showed up recently here in Bruma. Not only that, but he already found a vampire among us. Yeah, did he? Apparently, Braden Lyrian was one of those vile creatures, and Raynald slew him. Kind of strange, though. I never figured Braden to be a vampire. He seemed to be such a likable fellow. Yeah, that's how vampires work. A brotherhood betrayed. That's the quest. Oh. I've discovered that Braden Lyrian, a resident here in Broom, was actually a vampire. He was slain by a vampire hunter who appeared in town named Raynil Dralis. However, the circumstances of this incident sound sketchy at best. I should make my way to the crime scene at Braden's house to investigate. Okay. Oh, it's over here.
You're going to have to leave. This is a crime scene, and no one other than ourselves, our Reynal Dravis, will be allowed access. Why? What's going on? Any rumors? I understand that Bump Broadgash trains other fighter guild members on the proper use of heavy arms. Bump, <laughs> Bump Broadgash, love the name. The culprit in this crime has already been dealt with. It's just a matter of wrapping up the details. I'd tell you more, but frankly, I don't know who you are, so I'm not sure that I can trust you. Oh, That's we have to tell him some jokes, butter him up a bit. Well, listen to this, we'll buddy. See. He likes admiring. He hates bottom right. Goodness. What? You're... You can't scare me. You can't no. scare me. Really? You're... Is that so? He hates bottom right. You're a You're wasting... Good... I wish I could say that. I wish I... You... That... What a... I see. Now will you tell me? A culprit in this crime is already... I'd tell you more, but... Ah, oh, he doesn't like me that much. Can we bribe tell him? More. Bribe him for three, yeah. For me? Thanks. Yeah, it is for you. Now tell me about Rainer Drainer. There's no harm in telling you what happened. Thank you. Word is bound to get around Bruma anyway. Turns out that Braden Lyrian is a vampire. Or was. If it wasn't for Rainiel Drailus, we may never have uncovered the truth. But let me explain. In the last week or so, we've found two bodies stashed in shallow graves outside the city walls. The bodies had puncture wounds on their necks. No. The bodies were those of some beggars who used to wander the streets looking for handouts. The vampire probably thought no one would miss them. Luckily for us, Raynal arrived in town. He said he was a vampire hunter, so we asked for his help. That is lucky. He tracked the vampire to this house. When he entered the place around noon, Brayden was sleeping. He was able to slay him at that point. Luckily, Braden's wife wasn't home. Poor thing. She didn't even know her husband was infected. We did a follow-up investigation, and it's true that no one recollects seeing Braden out in the daylight. That's your evidence? Oh my god, you're like the worst investigator night. ever. I'm afraid there's not much more to tell you. So, you can see we really don't need any help, but thanks for the offer. Uh, we don't need any help, we got it covered. Yeah, you, you do, you got it really covered, you idiot. Uh, I'm impressed. It only took him a day to track the vampire down. I guess that's why he does it for a living. As far as I know, he was a good man. I, I never saw this coming. But vampires are masters of deception, so I guess it makes sense. Feel free to question anyone in town. They shouldn't give you... Uh, okay, let's question his I can't wife. I believe this is happening. Please, please, I need your help. My husband was no vampire. It's ridiculous. No one will listen to me. Oh, poor dear. Please calm down. I want to help. Forgive me. I loved my husband dearly. And to lose him this way makes no sense. Anything you can do to help would be wonderful. Anything, you say? This is all happening so fast. I came home only just a few hours ago. I found the door open and my brain dead. Standing over him was a Dunmer. I screamed and ran out into the street. Oh dear. Some city watch were nearby and heard me, I suppose, as they arrived quickly. Oh dear. I heard the Dunmer identify himself as Rainil Dralus. He said he was a vampire hunter, and that Braden was his mark. The guards seemed to know about Rainhill, and after a search of the house, the body of some beggar was found stashed in our basement. Okay. The guards sent for Carius, who was an investigator for crimes here in Bruma. In minutes, Rainhill convinced Carius that Braden was a vampire. Seems like a pretty open shut case. I don't know what you need my help for, lady. Well, of course it does. It was obviously planted here. Why would he stash a body in his own house? That's ridiculous. And another thing. Maybe he was the trying to get are the... making a big deal out of no one seeing Braden out in the daylight. Yeah, that's a bit silly. Well, of course that's the case. He works at night and has to sleep during the day. 
Why does that make him a vampire? Yeah, that's a perfect. It's all that Raynal character. I don't trust him. The thing that bothers me the most is that I swear I've seen him before. Of course, he says he's never been here. Look, there isn't much more to say. Please help me clear my husband's name. Well, I'll do what I can for you, Miss E, but there's no guarantee I'll get results. I mean, it doesn't does seem like a pretty cut and dry case. I understand Bumpf Gragash trains other fighters Bump guild members Gragash. on the proper use there's of that heavy name arms. Again. I have no idea where he'd be. Just find him and make him tell you the truth. I swear he's a liar. Mm-hmm. Maybe the body was in the basement I because... I know I sound desperate, but I know I'm right. Yeah, maybe the body was in the basement because your husband had just finished feeding on it and was trying to get rid of it when the guy showed up and killed him. That's a possibility, isn't it? Whoa, what the fuck? Edla. Edla Darkheart. If you want to be a marksman, I can train you. If you can breathe, I can teach you. What if I cut you fucking from head to toe for calling me being racist? Did you hear about Braden Lyrian? A vampire hunter named Raynal Dralis. Yeah, I'm just investigating that town. actually. And you're calling me Snuck Braden Trash. How dare you? And killed him. You racist bitch. Get out of my face. I'm through talking. Yeah, I'm through talking to you as well. How are you? Okay. What can I do? I usually don't give out that kind of information, especially to people I don't know. Is that right, Mr. Innkeeper, sir? What if I tell you this Make funny joke? He doesn't care for boasting. So he likes bottom I accept. right. Not he bad. hates top You're left. I doubt you really mean that. I doubt. I accept. Not bad. You're pathetic. You're pathetic. Was no more. You're you're good. I usually don't. Fucking hell. Yes. See, was that hard? I usually don't. Oh really? Tell He's one more. off. Usually seventy is the threshold, so I'm gonna have to use this scroll. Alluring gaze. Good Hello. journey to you. Can you tell me what now? What can I do for you today? Raynal is staying in the last room down the hall upstairs. Oh, okay. Here's the key. Okay, that's useful. Thank you. I always liked Brayden and Arlene. They were a nice couple. I hope you get to the bottom of this, because I don't believe he was a vampire either. Mm-hmm. Anything suspicious? Anything to, oh, hello, what's this? Someone's journal. I've discovered a small journal in Raynal's room at the inn. It seems he was a part of a group of adventurers who'd uncovered an artifact of some sort from Aeliad Ruins. They all agreed to stash the artifact in a cave until more research could be done about it. Each of them took a key to the chest it was secured in. The, the two other members of the group were Brayden and someone named Gelborn. Gelborn. I need to find out more about Gelleborn to confirm my suspicions about Raynil. Olav may be able to help. Let's take this. We can present it as evidence. He's still charmed. What can I do? So that's good. Gelleborn. Gelleborn? That's odd that you should mention that name. Raynil told me that he was the last vampire he hunted. Really? Yeah, that's right. Somewhere in Skingrad, I believe. He said he tracked Gelleborn down and killed him. That's apparently why the guards trust him so readily. They had gotten word from Skingrad City Watch about Rainil and his so-called accomplishment. Is that right? Okay, cool. So... Just look for me if you need anything else. Oh, what time is it? I don't have time. Well, it's 5.58. I need to go back to the Mages Guild at some point. Uh, I need to conjure as well. Let's keep conjuring the uh, Bound Dagger. 
Let's go back to the Mages Guild. We'll carry on with that mission in a moment. Once we've done the Mages Guild one. Because now it's time to... Do everything here. Spoken to you yet? Do you have a good spell that I can borrow? My name is Selena. No, no spell. Good day. Um, six twenty-three p.m. What was I about to do? I was doing something, but I can't remember what it is. The conjuration is at twenty-four. That's good. So we just need our conjuration to go up by one more. We can start summoning skeleton to fight for us, which will be very useful. There it is, Apprentice. So we need the skeleton on five, I think it was on before. Uh, we'll put it on four, actually. We'll put Starlight on three. Uh, yeah. So that's fine. Yes, yeah, so we can now summon a skeleton to help fight chat. Silly butt. Skeletor is back. Right, is it time to find your sky yet? Good day. It was a good idea, wasn't it? You well, too. How do I find your sky then? I thought you said meet me here now. Oh, after 10 p.m. Bollocks. Okay. Right, chat. Well, we've come to the end of the episode, so what I'm going to do is end things here for now. Then I'm going to run around, loot the Mages Guild, loot the Fighters Guild here, turn all the ingredients into potions, the usual, the usual stuff. I'm also going to go down to uh, Vilverin, complete Vilverin, because we've already seen me do that in a couple of episodes at the start of the first run. So you know what's down in that um, dungeon and instance. You've already seen it being cleared, so I don't mind clearing that off stream. And I'm going to do the fishing mission as well, because that's just going to be me standing on the shore hurling fireballs at fish for fucking ages. So it's not going to be that interesting and I want to get it done. So guys, thanks so much for hanging out. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another episode of Oblivion where we'll be back in the Bruma Mages Guild and about to carry on with this Finding Jaskar mission. Hopefully I will see you all there for that, guys. If not, I'll try and catch you in some other content I produce. I try and make content every single day now. So, sal wait till next time.